Hey guys, it's Pangino, and this video is going to be helping you guys achieve the very best FPS possible with inside of GTA 5, regardless of your system specs, in under 10 minutes. If this guide does work for you and you are happy with the results, please let me know of them in the comment section down below, alongside leaving a like on this video. So get your keyboard and mouse ready, and let's jump straight on into the optimizations. First of all, we're going to be ensuring that we're running on the latest update of Windows 10, which is readily available and completely free. To do this, navigate to the bottom left-hand side, type in WinVer, just like so, and press Enter. You'll then be seeing which version of Windows 10 you're running on. You want to be running on version 2000 2004 or newer. If you're running an older version, so the number is less, you want to update your version of Windows. To do this, it's very easy to do. Navigate to the bottom left-hand side, type in check for updates, just like so, then press enter. The Windows Update utility will then open up. Click on check for updates. This will run refresh your PC, search for any available updates. You should then be seeing that the 2004 update to Windows 10 is available for you, and you can download and install that. Alternatively, if the download link is not appearing with inside of that page, you can navigate inside of the description down below to the Windows 10 update link. If you brought to this web page, navigate to the Windows 10 May 2020 update link and click update now. Download the utility, upgrade your PC, restart the PC and continue on. We then need to jump into applying some application fixes to the game itself. To do this, simply boot into GTA 5, regardless of which launcher you're using. Once you guys have booted into the main menu of the game, simply go ahead and press Alt and Tab on your keyboards to navigate back inside of the Windows menu. Navigate down to your task bar, right click on the task bar and open up task manager. Navigate inside of the processes tab, then go to the drop down menu and find Grand Theft Auto 5. Click on the arrow next to it, find Grand Theft Auto 5 once again, right click and then hit open file location. Upon doing this we can then go ahead and exit out of the game and keep this folder open. Once you've exited outside of the game we're looking to go into the GTA 5 application with inside of this folder, right click, go down to properties, go to compatibility, ensure that disable full screen optimizations is checked, click on change our DPI, click on override high DPI scaling, press ok, apply and ok. We're then also going to repeat that optimization for Blade GTA 5, so properties, compatibility, disable, override, ok, apply and ok. We're then going to leave this folder open as we're going to be applying something with inside of here later on, so we can drag this over to the right hand side or just minimize out of this folder and leave it open. This now leads us on to the point in the video where we're going to be installing our configs and some other files in which we can implement inside of the game which are completely safe and easy to use. Whether you're playing GTA Online, the base game, or if you're running on a modded version, these work completely across the board and are completely safe to use. To get these configs, it's very simple and easy to do. You can navigate into the description down below where you'll be finding an FPS pack download link. Simply click on the file, download it and place it onto your desktop. Alternatively, if you don't wish to download anything, you can find all of the files I'm going to be linking down below as well with inside of paste bins in which you can generate your own files as well in case you don't want to download anything. If you have downloaded the pack go ahead and right click on the pack, select extract here, you then be met with a folder in your desktop with an identical name. So to get into the game specific optimizations, navigate inside of the FPS increase pack provided, go inside of the command lines folder, with inside of it you'll be met with three folders. Simply click on the corresponding folder which matches your desired FPS and outcome for the overall game or the experience you might already be having. Click on the other folders if these apply to you but for most people I'd recommend going with number one. With inside of it you'll then be met with a command line text document. Then to install this command line text document, it's very simple and easy to do. Drag this over to the left hand side, go back from inside of the folder in which we minimized out of earlier, which has the GTA 5 application with inside of it. Go over to the command line, drag this into the directory. Once it's been dragged in, we can then go ahead and exit out of both the folders as that optimization has then been applied. We can then follow that up by installing our brand new optimized config file. For this, navigate inside of the FPS increase pack provided once again, go inside of the configs folder, and once again, click on the config which matches the experience you're looking for. For high end PCs, go with high end. For medium end PCs, go with medium. I'm going to be going with high end. With inside of it you will then be met with a settings text document. For this you need to double click on the settings text document. With inside of it all you simply need to go ahead and do is all the way from the top to the bottom is highlight and drag all the way down right click then select copy. Once that's then been copied simply exit out. We then need to navigate into the config which is currently installed to the game. To do this navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the windows button, go to documents. With inside of here scroll down to the rockstar games folder, go inside of GTA 5 and you'll then be met with the settings xml document with inside of here. For this just simply go ahead and right click, select open with and then select notepad. What we're then going to go ahead and do with inside of the settings folder installed to your game which is this one here is to highlight and drag all the way down to the bottom and stopping where it says aspect ratio so you'll have your video card information underneath this which you want to keep. So everything above this highlight and simply get rid of by using backspace. We can then go ahead and right click and select paste to paste in that new information in which we gathered earlier on from the config file provided. Once you guys have got that set simply go up to the top left hand side go to file then click on save. Once you guys have done that we can then go ahead and exit out. We've then successfully installed our brand new configs. This now leads us on to some incredibly important GPU optimizations. Before jumping into the GPU optimizations it's incredibly important that you actually update your graphics card drivers using the corresponding links down 
down below. To see which link you need to click on, right click anywhere on your desktop, you'll either be seeing the NVIDIA control panel or the AMD Radeon settings panel. Then navigate into the description down below and click on the corresponding download link for your GPU. For NVIDIA users, you'll be brought to this page. Click on download now on the automatic driver updates utility, run the utility and it will update your driver for you. For AMD Radeon users, click download now on your utility found here, download the program, open it up and it'll install and detect your latest graphics card driver. You want to be running on the latest graphics card driver, especially if you've just updated your Windows 10 to the latest version. As the latest update of Windows, coupled with the latest graphics card driver available, can actually enable some brand new settings in which we're going to be tweaking around with with inside of Windows in a few moments time. We then need to go ahead and actually optimize the control panel settings for our graphics cards for further FPS boosts. And to find these optimizations, never get inside of the FPS increase pack provided once again, go inside of the optimizations folder, then go inside of GPU settings. Click on the corresponding folder for your graphics card. With inside of you, then you met with a plethora of screenshots, simply click on the first screenshot, and this will show you in depth very quickly and easily how to set all of the settings up and what settings to set with inside of these. It's very simple and easy to do. Follow these in your own time, make sure to apply all of them, and we're then good to go. Whilst on the topic of GPU optimizations, I'm also quickly going to shout out my ultimate GPU overclocking guide over on my main channel, in which you can find using the card on screen now and in the description down below. You'll decrease temperatures with inside of your GPU and get free performance in which you don't have to pay a penny for. Navigate to the bottom left hand side, type in game space mode, then click on game mode settings. Ensure that the Windows game mode is actually enabled, then go over to Xbox game bar, switch this to the off position. We can then follow that up by going to the bottom left hand side once again, this time typing in GPU space settings, click on the graphics settings tab, and if you've updated your Windows to the latest version, alongside running the latest version of your graphics card drivers, and if you have compatible hardware, if you have the option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling with inside of here available to you, make sure that you do turn this to the on position, as this allows the graphics card to manage its own on built memory pool, reducing input latency and improving performance. Then also applying an improvement for everyone watching this video, never get down to browse under graphics performance preference. Go ahead to the left hand side and click on this PC, then simply in the top right hand side search for GTA5.exe just like so. Once you guys have typed that in, you might have to wait a few minutes before you find any results in your PC, so just hold tight. Once GTA 5 is available with inside of here, click on GTA 5, then press add, then navigate down to the options menu and make sure that high performance has been selected at the bottom, then press save and we can exit out. We're now going to be optimizing our Windows power plan simply and easily. Navigate into the bottom left hand side, type in power space plan, then click on edit power plan with inside of here. Go up to the navigation bar at the top and click on power options, then go down to the show additional plans. Now for Intel based systems, you want to be going with the high performance power plan inside of here for the best results. Now for anyone running on an AMD Ryzen based system, for you you want to be going with the AMD Ryzen high performance power plan. And this now leads us on to the last and final optimization with inside of this entire video and arguably the most important. For this never get inside of the FPS pack provided, alternatively you can also find the link for what we're about to use in the description down below. Go inside of the optimizations folder, then drag the ISLC version 1022 folder onto the desktop. Once you guys have done this we can then go ahead and double click on the folder, you will then be met with the intelligence standby list cleaner or ISLC. Double click on the program, go ahead and select yes. If the program doesn't automatically open up, go to the bottom right hand side to the task icon tray, then find the green monitor and double click. To set the program up, for the first box on the left hand side you want to set this to 1024. For the second box this needs to be set to half of this number found up here which is your total system memory. So simply half your number, for me that's going to be 16,000. Then navigate over to the right hand side, check the option for enable custom time resolution. Inside of this box type 0.50, then use the delete key to remove all the other values. Then go down to ISLC polling rate, go into the drop down menu, set this to 500 for good PCs and lower end PCs set this to 1000. Once you guys have done that, go to the right hand side to start, then click on purge standby list and then minimize the program and we're good to go. We're now going to go ahead and boot into the game to finalize our in-game settings for the best results. Navigate down to the settings tab with inside of here. We can then start off by going down to the graphics tab. We can then navigate over and start off with our DirectX version. Use the DirectX version on the right hand side of the screen now which corresponds to your system specs. For most people I would recommend going with DirectX 10.1 though. We can then go down to screen type. For most medium end to high end PCs, windowed boardless will give you the best results. We can then go down to our in-game resolution and again on the right hand side of the screen now you'll be seeing recommended resolutions to set this to as per your system specs. I'd recommend keeping FXAA off, MSAA off, I'd recommend keeping VSync off for most people unless you're running into overheating issues or weird frame stutters. Then when it comes down to population density and all of the other game settings with inside of here, for the most part I'd recommend keeping them the same as what they're currently set to as when we changed our settings file earlier on we actually modified most of these settings already. The only options I would definitely look out for for most people would be going to grass quality and ensuring this is set to normal. And assuming that I'm running on a decent PC for these three sliders found here I'm going to be setting them to run about the three quarters mark. For your texture quality I'd recommend matching this to your system 
custom specs. For ultra low end to medium end PCs, go with normal. And for higher end PCs, you can go with high. And once that's all set, make sure that you go to the bottom right hand side and apply changes. We can then navigate over to the left hand side to the advanced graphics tab, going with the side of here, making sure that long range shadows are turned off, high resolution shadows are off, high detail streaming whilst flying off, extended view distance, you can set this to around about halfway for decent gaming PCs, otherwise leave it all the way down to zero. And for anyone running on medium end to ultra low end PCs, you can come down to the frame scaling mode and start experimenting around with this. Experiment around with this by going to the right hand side, either setting it to 50%, 66%, 75% or 83%. Once again, go ahead and press apply and we're then good to go and boot into the game. You've then successfully increased your FPS with inside of GTA 5 in under 10 minutes. Again guys, if you are happy with the results, please leave a like on the video and if you do enjoy my content, please consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly whenever a new video goes live on the channel. Thanks a ton for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.